story time with Art Nico and friends. This is Ninji who's joining us today and this is my buddy Juke and they're here to read with us today. Our first book that we will be reading is called, can you guess the title? What shape is my friend on my book? You're right, a triangle. My book is called Triangle. Triangle by Matt Barnett and John Clausen. They are the authors of the book. That means they wrote the book. They are also the illustrators of the book. That means they drew the pictures in the book. Let's get started. This is Triangle's house. What shape is Triangle's house? A triangle, just like Triangle. Can you draw a triangle in the air with your finger? How many sides does a triangle have? One, two, three. A triangle has three sides. Are you three years old? Raise your hand if you are three years old. Some of my friends might be three. Some, maybe you're four or five. Those are big numbers. This is Triangle in his house. It looks like Triangle has a picture of himself hanging on the wall. It's a little triangle. What shape is Triangle's picture frame? It has four sides. It's a rectangle. And that is Triangle's door. Triangle has a triangle door. One day, Triangle walked out of his door and away from his house. He was going to play a sneaky trick on Square. Wow, his friend's name is Square. Do you know how many sides a Square has? Four. You're right. Raise your hand if you are four years old. He walked past small triangles and medium triangles and big triangles. He walked past shapes that weren't triangles anymore. Oh, there's triangle walking. He's so tiny. These shapes are big. This one even looks giant. They were shapes with no names. There's Triangle. He looks like he's on top of a rock, maybe. He walked until he got to a place where there were some. What shape is this? A square. He walked until he got to a place where there were squares. Still thinking of his sneaky trick, he walked past big squares and medium squares and small squares. And there's Triangle. He looks small too. Until he got to Square's house. Now, said Triangle, I will play my sneaky trick. Are sneaky tricks nice? No, I wonder what trick Triangle is going to play. What do you think he's going to do? Should we turn the page and find out? Triangle walked up to Square's door and said, Hiss! just like a snake. 
Can you hiss like a snake? What else do snakes do? Do snakes slither? Can you slither and hiss like a snake? Let's pretend to be a snake. Square was afraid of snakes. Oh me, oh my, said Square. Go away, you snake. Leave my door. Hiss, said Triangle. Hiss, hiss. Can you hiss again like a snake? Hiss. Oh dear, 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 said Square. He sounds so worried. Do we worry? Pete the cat says, goodness, no. How many snakes are out there, Square said? 10, can you count to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten snakes. <gasps> 10 million? Go away, snakes. Shoo the snakes away. Say, shoo, snakes, shoo, snakes, shoo. Triangle could not hiss anymore. He was laughing too hard. <laughs> Did we laugh at our friends? That's not nice. Triangle, said Square. Is that you? Yes, said Triangle. I know you are afraid of snakes. I played a sneaky trick on you. Oh, it looks like Triangle is walking away. He's going away from Square. Square ran off after Triangle, past small squares and medium squares and big squares. He ran past the shapes with no names. He's running fast, but Tri Square is still behind him. Square is running after Triangle. Triangle is in front of Square. Square is behind Triangle. Past the big triangles and the medium triangles and the small triangles. Up to Triangle's house and through his door. Almost, almost. What happened to Square? Let's find out. You are stuck, Triangle laughed. <laughs> Remember, it's not nice to laugh at friends. But you're right, Square is stuck. The door is a triangle shape and Square cannot fit inside. Then he stopped. His house was all dark. Triangle was afraid of the dark. Are you afraid of the dark? Some people are afraid of the dark but it's okay. Do we need to worry? Goodness, no. It's too dark, said Triangle. You're blocking my light. Go away, you block. Leave my door. It was Square's turn to laugh. I know you are afraid of the dark. Now I have played a sneaky trick on you. You see, Triangle, this was my plan all along. But do you really believe him? The end. Our next book we're reading today, the title, which is the name of the book, is Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn by Canard Pack. Hello, late summer morning. 
wow, look at all this color. The leaves and the grass are all what color? Green. Hello trees. Hello. Now that the cool winds have come, we love how our branches sway in the sun. Can you sway like a branch in the wind? Sway. Good job. Hello, playful foxes. What color is the fox? It's a little red fox or an orange fox. And singing blue jay. Hello, we are busy looking for food. Some of us are heading south to our winter homes. It gets too cold for them in the winter. They have to go to a different home so they can stay warm. Hello, walking stick and butterflies. Wow, look at that butterfly. What color is that? It's the same color as our leaves. They're orange. Hello, we're surprised you saw us. We try our best to blend in and we'll do the same in warmer places. Hello, beavers. Hello, chipmunks. Hello, we have no time to play because we're making cozy nests and dens. It will be cold soon and we want to get ready. They're building homes where they are going to stay all winter long. It's too cold for them to go out. Hello, flowers. Wow, those are beautiful, bright flowers. What color are these flowers? They match the girl's scarf. They are red. Hello, we are leaning into the sun, enjoying the last summer rays. Some of us like esters and follics are late bloomers. We make the end of the season even more colorful. Hello, thunder. Have you ever heard thunder before? What does thunder do? It sounds like a loud clap. Can you make thunder? Clap. Hello, you can hear my low rumble from far away. My clouds loom over the open fields and quiet hills. Hello, breezy wind. Hello, I love to whoosh, drizzle and leaves through the misty streets. Hello, chill in the air. Autumn is coming, so it's getting chilly. And the leaves are starting to fall off the trees. Hello, puddle. Hello, now that the wind has come, I often get covered with fallen leaves. The leaves have started to change colors too. In the autumn, the leaves begin to change colors. In the summer, our leaves are what color? Green. And then they start to change to orange, red, and sometimes yellow. Hello leaves. Hello. This is what we just talked about. We are changing our colors. Some of us turn red or brown, while others turn gold or yellow. The dogwood leaves turn purple. <gasps> purple. Do you have any purple leaves in your yard at home? Hello, big orange sun. Hello. I am setting earlier and earlier now that summer is coming to an end, but I will see you again tomorrow. 
Goodbye, Summer. Now it's nighttime and the leaves are starting to change color. Summer is over and it's time for autumn. The end. I hope you all enjoyed our books today. If you have time, maybe you can go outside and look for changing leaves. Can you find leaves in all the colors? Green, yellow, orange, red, and maybe even purple? That would be really cool if you could. See you later, friends. Thank you for joining me.